So at this point, you've seen pretty much every single angle that I can shoot in, in my room. It's really starting to feel like one of those live cam porn videos. I'm just missing the sofa in the back. Okay, to be honest, it took me more than two years of talking about my dick on YouTube before doing like an actual tutorial. But you know what they say, better late than keep having videos without any views. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure they say something else though. Anyway, I'm here, I'm pumped, I'm ready to do some tutorial link. link. So first I wanted to address the materials that I'm going to be using and I'm going to do a whole separate video on exactly what materials I use but I'm telling you that shit is not important so don't focus on it. I swear if I see another comment, oh my god where can I buy the same pencil like Angel, I'm going to block your fucking ass. Yeah, threatening to block people is, is probably not the best way to start a tutorial. So materials have never been important for me and they shouldn't be important for you as well. I've been, I've been using the same pencil and paper since the beginning and my drawings used to suck. But now they still suck but they get likes on Instagram. Let's just get to the tutorial. Okay so this is the final drawing and we're done. Thank you for watching. I'm just kidding, I just wanted to show you the final before we start, just so you know if you're interested in watching the process. Cause like I've seen some tutorials where I was like, well, if I knew it was gonna turn out like that, I, I wouldn't waste my time watching this shit. And by the way, yes, I'm using a reference, but the question shouldn't be why am I using a reference, the question is why would you not be using a reference? Cause honestly, if you aren't, you're just fucking stupid. I don't know how else to explain it. Like this is not some fucking creative content like hey look at look at how creative I am. Like this is a fucking portrait. It's not a unicorn. I love when people are like, oh my god, I just invented this face for my imagination. Like bitch, you know there's like seven billion references out there, right? I mean if you were to create some cool fantasy character, yeah, but don't act tough just because you drew a fucking plain Jane portrait. Well, Angel, if you're using a reference, why isn't the portrait looking like the person? I know this is gonna sound like an excuse, but I, I, I just didn't want to, okay? I, I can definitely do it. it. It's just my style. <laughs> I love when people do that. Oh, it's just my style. Shut the fuck up. Okay, here we go. I start out with blocking the whole head using curves and structure. And don't you dare add any fucking details. I'm using the Andrew Loomis method and honestly, if you haven't read Andrew Loomis drawing the head and hands, I, I don't know what you're doing watching my ignorant ass when you can be reading the best art book in the world. And I feel like that's the reason why I didn't feel like doing a tutorial for the longest time ever. Cause like, cause like when am I gonna teach you this shit better than somebody who's been doing it all his life? Like never. Turns out, people are fucking ignorant and they want your ignorant ass to teach their ignorant ass. And God knows I'll do anything for the view, so here we are. So as I said, I start out with blocking the whole head and all I'm thinking about is planes of the head and structure. Please don't be one of those people who goes directly into drawing the eyes and then they do that cheesy fucking joke of Oh, I just drew one eye and I don't know how to draw the other. Yeah, cause you're fucking stupid and you don't follow the process. Always break down the whole head before you draw the features. Like even when you go to the features themselves, you should still break them down before you draw stupid shit like eyelashes and stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna teach you how to do this shit, but like, some other time. By the way, the absolute first thing that you should learn is the proportions in the human face and how to break them down. And this is probably the wrong video for you to do so, because it's like stylized and it's not even like human proportions. And I'm sorry to break your heart, but if you're like a beginner, you shouldn't even be watching this video. Jesus Angel, and then you wonder why you don't have any views. You know what? I take that back. Everybody should watch this. Beginners, intermediates, you haven't even touched a pencil before. The first thing you should watch is advanced stylized portraits that have taken me six years to develop. So as I'm breaking down the form, you might see me doing like little marks to mark where the shadows are gonna be, but I'm really trying to stay away from shading for now. I'm just trying to lay the face in the proportions. And this is what the first stage kind of looks like. Basic forms, no shading, and it's kind of like a map as to what the real drawing is gonna look like. And this is like around 20 minutes of a full two hour drawing. So next I start refining the sketch. I add glasses cause you know, bitches be looking 10 times cuter with glasses. I mean, I mean only in drawings. 
things in real life. I'm trying to clean up all the lines and something very important is to always draw all the features even if you don't see them. For example, I'm drawing the full eyebrows even though you're not even gonna see most of them in the final and that's just because I want to picture the whole head in three dimensions. When you're drawing you always need to be thinking about your subject in like three dimensions. It's not just like two dimensional lines. You're trying to like trick the mind into thinking this shit has like depth and it's deep like cheesy vampire movies do. Don't be like one of those people, oh, I don't see the other eye so I'm not gonna draw it and then you wonder why the fuck your drawing ends up looking like Quasimodo. And even though it's early in the shading process, you see me outlining exactly where the highlights are gonna be. And this is really important because once you go black, you never go back. What? <laughs> No, I mean that you can bring the light with an eraser, that's what I meant. And some places that you have those highlights are always gonna be the nose, the lips, the hair, the corners of the eyes, and like inside the retina. Yeah, that, that sounded kind of creepy. So now I start shading and it's really important to press lightly and actually build up the shadows. This is not fucking kindergarten where you hold a pencil like this and you're trying to go through the paper. So take it fucking slowly and build up the shadows with like layers upon each other and that way you have the texture showing and you actually like trick people into thinking you actually know how to draw. So think about where there's gonna be like darker places around the face and shade them lightly. Some of those places are gonna be the hair, the eyes, the neck and like the cheekbones. By the way, I know a lot of people don't shade the cheekbones because they don't want the girl to look masculine but fuck that. I feel like the perfect character will have like traits from the opposite gender. That's why I add big ass eyelashes to guys. Like yeah, they might end up looking lesbians like me but fuck it, they pretty. Okay, so now it's detail time and I switch over to the 0 0.5 mechanical pencil and I just really go over my lines that I did before. Man, be fuck, fuck out of here, bitch. So I'm trying to add more volume to my lines and it's the one thing that improved my work the most and it's called line weight. Because when you're drawing the lines, you can't just draw them straight and narrow like an architect. Like, this is not a fucking building, it's a person and people have like forms and boobies and stuff. And to add line weight, it helps you to know exactly where the lining source is, but the one thing that's gonna help you the most is practicing, experimenting, and then looking at what the other people were doing. And that's like three things. And I showed you my drawings from like six months ago in my sketchbook tour, and I didn't have any line weight, and it's not like I learned some secret information, it's just me doing it over and over again. You know what's funny, I've seen art tutorials and people commenting will be like, Oh, uh, you know, this was not really a tutorial, like he was just talking about his process. Oh, motherfucker, what do you want me to talk about? The way you learn shit is by doing it, not by hearing about somebody else do it. It's not fucking science. So stop being a little cunt and go do it. And I actually read a beautiful quote recently and I think it was by Oscar Wilde and it said the only things in life worth learning are the ones that cannot be taught. But you know, he, he also didn't know about clickbait and YouTube videos so... Now I go with a mechanical pencil and I add some shading to specific areas but it's really important to know exactly what way the plane that you're drawing is facing so you can shade that direction because otherwise you're really just gonna fuck up everything. I do that mostly in the hair, the lips, a little bit on the eyes and also the nose because for some reason people love when your portrait looks like it has a fucking red clown nose. And you know what they say, bitches love clowns. Actually, I don't really know if they say that, but as long as it gets me more likes, all my characters are gonna look like fucking Rudolph. Finally, I'll go over the whole drawing again and add another shading layer. And at this point, you can actually like shade in the opposite direction of the planes to add like an interesting effect. But it's really important when you look at the drawing as a whole that you can actually recognize which way each little plane is facing. I add some shading on her cheeks to make it look like she's blushing. I like to think that she's blushing because she's not actually looking at me. <laughs> You can add little freckles for cuteness, but just make sure you're gentle with it or you're really just gonna make her look like she has chicken pox. Also, after you're done, make sure you write your name, because as I told you in my sketchbook tour, art pages are gonna steal your art and nobody cares about fucking descriptions. So write your name or username clearly so people can see it and make sure your username is not something goofy like sweaty pussy 75 or some shit that nobody can pronounce like trachen to do bachen to do, like, because you're really just gonna die with the same 38 followers that you have right now. 
And after some Photoshop editing magic, which I'm gonna teach you another time, we have the finished drawing. This is it. And as I've already explained to you before, if you really don't understand anatomy or don't have like basic structure knowledge, th this tutorial was completely fucking useless to you. But, but if you've ever read those retarded YouTube comments on mainstream songs, but you have five years good luck, like this comment to activate. That, that's exactly how my tutorials work. If you support me on Patreon, you can activate the knowledge and magically become better. You bet. But seriously though, stop watching fucking tutorials. Unless of course they're my tutorials. So check me out, patreon.com slash angelganef. I do live streams, I critique your work, I answer questions, I do a personal mentorship where I suck your dick. I mean, not really though, but you know, $50 is $50. And I really wanted to take this time to thank all of my 28 patrons for supporting me and allowing me to stay home and create these videos for you because otherwise you might be watching me right now do other types of videos on another website that ends with hub. So thank you. I wish I could have a pencil like Angel. I wish I could have a paper like Angel. Yeah, but you don't.